Yo, what is good everyone? William Idell with the Creative Core back with another tutorial video. Kind of a quick tip. It's not going to be a long video, just a quick tip for y'all today. But today I'm going to show you guys how to steal color grades from one photo and place it on another, which will probably be your photo. So, yeah. All right, let's dive straight into it. All right, so let's dive straight in. Uh, first of all, we're gonna need Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop beta right now because I'm just loving the options, but you can do this in the regular Photoshop app. So what you wanna do is go ahead and open that up. I already downloaded some images that I found on Pexels and some on Unsplash. Just drag them into the screen so we can use those as reference. As far as the images that I'm gonna use today that I wanna steal color grades from, instead of using my own images, I just went to Mid Journey and created some images from text to image prompts and we're going to use those honestly i didn't feel like digging through all my hard drives to, just to go find images i've shot in the past i'm liking my new setup so i didn't want to bring everything from my office over there over here just to do a tutorial for you guys so let's dive straight into this so for the first image i have this uh beautiful young lady who is outside standing which looks like in the garage and what you want to do is what you want to go up to your filters and the magic happens basically in your neutral filter. So I'm gonna open up my neutral filters tab and that's gonna open up, it's gonna load. And what you wanna do is go down here to where it says color transfer. As you can see, it says beta. What you wanna do is click on this button here. And as you can see, they'll have some presets already set up. You can click on these and you can kind of see what they'll look like. As you can see down here at the bottom, it says processing on device. So there we go. You can use the, the presets that already came, that come with it, but essentially you see what it's doing. It's taking one image, the, the color grade from that image, and it's applying it to your new image. And this is, this is you know, helpful for you guys who, um, who are scrolling the internet, whether it's Instagram or 500 pics or Behance, and you run across the image that you love as far as the coloring, and you wanna apply it to your image, but you just don't know how to achieve that exact same type of color. So with this, it's not going to be perfect, uh, but it'll kind of help you, you know, kind of get close enough to that look that the image that you want, you know, to apply to your image. It, it'll give you a close enough look, you know. Let's use some of the images that I've created. Uh, what you want to do is go to your custom and let's, well, let's go ahead and open up. Here's a couple of images I created right here in Mid Journey with just some models. And based off the model here, hers is more of a minimal kind of cool winter tone so say for instance we want to add some life into that with some color like this one right here this one is a little more bright it's a little more springtime more vibrant so i'm gonna go ahead and save that image to like a download folder and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to photoshop and go to custom where it says select image here there's a folder right there next to it you want to just click on that folder and select your image and click use this image so you can see it's processing and it applies the color grade to the image. And as you can see, it's very strong, so we're gonna tone this down. Um, what I like to do, as you can see down here, where it says color space, it says lab. You have lab, and then you have RGB mode. I actually like to use the lab mode because there's an option under here where it says preserve lumin luminance, and we're gonna click on that, and it kind of gives a better you know, look, you can control the color strength right here, whether you want it strong or you want it heavy. I'm gonna just bring the color strength down a little bit. Saturation, you can kind of go up or down. I might bring the saturation a little down. Let's see what it looks like. Might keep it neutral like that. You can also control the hues if you want to go a little more cooler or warmer. I think I'm gonna drag this a little more to the cooler side since the colors are very warm. Also, you can control the brightness. I think I'm gonna bring that up a little more. And we'll go back to the color strength and bring that up a little more. So it's not the best. You can also fix some of these issues once you're done with the image by uh, adding, you know, adjustment layers like curves or selective color. So say for instance, you wanna use a different image. So we're gonna go back to a folder and say for instance, I wanna use other models. Like this AI image I created right here. All right. So get your color strength. Let me bring that back up to 
starting point and make sure everything is selected we got your saturation turn it up a little bit the brightness you can actually bring it down some and that looks very similar also um, another thing you can actually drag the um, a marquee box around a certain area that you want to focus on and it'll try to concentrate most of the color to pull most of the color from that area so you can just click on this and click down and drag over a certain area it'll try to focus on most of the color from that spot or you could just clear the crop and go with the full thing. So you can output it to a new layer or a current layer or a smart filter. We're gonna just do new layer and click on okay. So we can kind of compare the difference in the shots. So you got your before and your after, before and after. So it's a very simple trick for today. Um, let's try a different image. We have this young lady with a cowgirl hat in a car. This image, you can tell it's kind of like cool tones it's a sunny day but it's still kind of a cool tone shot right so say for instance we want to we have this image here let's try this right here even though this is kind of a cool tone shot also so we're gonna try that one and maybe something like um maybe something like this right here and see if we can get a color tone match with that's kind of close to close enough you know so let's go back to um well, let's get back in Photoshop here. Let's go to filter and we're gonna go to neutral filters one more time. It's gonna load up. We're gonna go back to color transfer. We're gonna click that on there. Go to custom, upload an image. And let's click on this first one that we downloaded. It's gonna try to map. Wow, that is very, very strong. So let's click on preserve luminance. It's not too bad. Let's try to um, I want to keep the color strength there, but I just want to kind of like maybe bring back the saturation some, bump it up a little bit, and maybe raise the brightness up some. There we go. And let's try to increase the color strength and see what happens. Or pull it down and see what happens. That looks pretty good. And let's drag the, this over to the cools a little bit. And that looks pretty good. Let's click on OK. Got before, after before after went from a cool cool tone shot to a little warmer shot <clears throat> now you could have easily did this in you know um curves or levels or you have hue set but i mean you have some people who aren't really good as far as like adjusting levels so this is kind of like a cheat code it's almost like adding a lut but i really don't like luts you know to a certain degree for video i like luts a lot but for photo it's just it piles on so much you still have to go back and make adjustments to that LUT, rather by adding more adjustment layers or you have to dial it down. You know, um, let's try this one right here. We have this this beautiful lady here in this fairy tale dress. We're gonna click on neutral filters. And let's use one of the other images we downloaded. Let's click on color transfer, custom, folder select. And let's try this image here. Mm. Whoa, that's pretty strong. Come on, preserve luminance, okay. I don't, I'm not sure if I like how the highlights are like super blown out. What can we do to make this look better? We can probably raise the brightness or let's try a different image. I think I created an image where it was a little brighter outside. Like uh, say for instance, this one here. This is a little more minimal in the color tone, not using so many different colors. Let's go ahead and trash this one right here. And let's go ahead and open this and let's bring this one in. Yeah, this looks way better and we're going to increase the color strength all right maybe the saturation a little bit and bring down the brightness just a tad bit that still looks pretty good i think i'm gonna bring the brightness up even more i mean if it's a if it's a bright background let's go ahead and play off of that that's not right. it's getting a little too blown out let's dial it back just a little bit i mean that looks pretty good click ok check out the before and after so we got before after before after all right, let's do one more. Um, let me see if we wanna do this one or this one. We got multiple ones, interesting. Let's try this one right here. And we're gonna click on, but first let's try to find a image that we might wanna use with this. I think I saw a cafe one I've downloaded, like this one right here. It's a beautiful young AI image right here. This may be a little too dark, uh, cause this, this girl is sitting outside, so I think that's the only thing that kind of um, doesn't make it work, you know, as well because some of these images. Um, now, granted, I am using 
you know, uh, text to uh, image prompt images that I created. So you might see an image that may not have the same color tone. It may be a little brighter and have more vibrance to it. So I'm just using images that I created through AI because I don't feel like going to go dig through um, images I've shot and I don't feel like going to scroll the internet to find images that say, oh, I like this, I like this. This is basically just a tutorial to show you guys the possibility of the neutral filter. So if you guys do come across the image and you love the way it's graded or you love the way it's shot as far as the color tones and you want to use it on the image that you shot, this is basically showing you how to do it, all right? So there's no perfect way in this. I just want to make that clear. I'm just basically showing you guys the tools that's available to you through Photoshop and how you can use them to help you out if you're uh, looking for that option. So this looks pretty good. I like how um, the colors played out on this one. Maybe add some more saturation to this. Let's see how it looks if I increase it. Oh yeah, that looks great. I like that. And I think I want to increase the brightness some. Yeah, that looks nice. Maybe dial back the color strength. Okay, maybe increase it. I like how this image turned out. I just noticed both of them have on like orange outfits. Click on OK. You see the before, after, before, and after. Now in the whites, I will probably do something like maybe go to select a, and then select the flare, maybe work on the whites to get them more bright to, to pull out that color in from them. But yeah, that's that's basically how you do that. So um, in a nutshell, Neutral filter will be your go-to if you want to do color, color theft, I would say. If you want to go jack someone's color grade and, and apply it to yours, that's how you would go about doing it. All right, and that's it for today's tutorial, guys. Just a quick tip on how to steal colors from another image, apply it to yours quickly in Photoshop using neutral filters. Remember that, all right? So if you're not good with uh, color grading yet, with curves, levels, selective colors, hue and saturation, uh, applying LUTs and you see an image that you like online and you want to use that same type of color style on your image that's how you go about doing it quick fast and hurry all right so if you like the video share it uh, or just give it a thumbs up perhaps maybe drop a comment uh, let me know if you want to uh, learn something else that you've seen online and um, I'll try to go create it for you guys right now I'm going to be dropping more video content and I'll be delving back into more of Photoshop and photography. I'm trying to push the level of creativity uh, moving forward. And with spooky season arriving, I think I'm going to be posting some videos on cosplay and creative photo manipulation for the next few weeks. I'm thinking about it. So make sure you guys subscribe and go tell your cosplayers, especially your black cosplayers, if you guys are interested in seeing um, how to shoot, light, edit, also how to do creative Instagram and TikTok reels. Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one. I appreciate you guys for stopping by and watching. I'll see you later.